Hello guys, what's up? This video is made to make you learn some high output facts from ENT in a very simple and attractive way, basically important for your neat PG. So a very recent question, a very important one also, a repeat from Ames, you can say, is brain stem implantation is done where? It is done at lateral recess of fourth ventricle. So as you all know, I have discussed this question prior to one exam and those who have attended the videos have made it right. So it is basically done in lateral recess of fourth ventricle, brain stem implantation. Which part of facial nerve is involved in unsafe variety of chronic otitis media? Tympanic part of the facial nerve. Facial nerve makes a loop around which nerve intracranially? Facial nerve encircles intracranially the sixth nerve and thus if Facial nerve is involved intracranially, then the most common symptom will be diplopia due to lateral rectus palsy. So basically you need to understand that the facial nerves uh, makes a loop around the 6th nerve intracranially while is involved with 8th nerve extracranially. Now one important syndrome, Mobius syndrome. It is a congenital syndrome in which a 6th and 7th nerve palsy are seen. And what you will, you will all see is that there will be facial palsy. Eyes cannot be moved laterally due to lateral rectus palsy. And different as it is a syndrome, it is a uh, mixed features of club failed polar syndrome like chest abnormalities. And basically you see Mobius syndrome in newborns due to mesoprostol or thalidomide or cocaine used by the mothers. So Mobius syndrome is an important one. Now Bill's bar. Bill's bar is one anatomical uh, separation. So one question is asked that is Bill, Bill's bar is a vertical separation between. So it separates the facial and the superior vestibular nerve. So how you can remember this? This circle is an internal acoust acoustic canal. And what it is uh, showing is that how you can remember is that the facial nerve lies above and the cochlear nerve lies below and both are separated by falciform crest. So how you can remember or recall during examination is one mnemonic that is 7 up and coca cola. So 7 is up that is facial will be up and coca cola that is cochlear will be below. So 7 up and coca cola and on the other side there will be superior vestibular nerve on the superior side and the inferior vestibular nerve on the inferior side. So Bill's bar basically separates the uh, facial nerve from the superior vestibular nerve. Now uh, very confusing but very frequently asked is most common complication of chronic, chronic otitis media. <clears throat> so overall and extracranial most common complication is mastoiditis. Overall and most common extracranial complication of COM repeating is mastoiditis. Intracranial most common is meningitis and second most common intracranial is brain abscess. Now uh, if you see brain abscesses, different types of brain abscesses I will discuss, I will like to discuss here only. Uh, different named abscesses are important with regards to your neat PC. Bezold abscess, Citelli abscess, Lux abscess and the post auricular different abscesses. So Bezold abscess is basically is an abscess as arising as a complication of COM and it uh, arises from mastoid tip and goes up to the sternocleidomastoid. So basically you need to remember the muscle sternocleidomastoid. So anterior part of the sternocleidomastoid bezold abscess. Citelli is related with posterior belly of digastric and lux is related with posterior wall of external auditory canal. It is a subperiosteal type of abscess and basically it related with posterior wall of external auditory canal and if you see most common abscess you encounter is the post auricular abscess. Now one important test that is fistula test you all need to know what is fistula test. So <clears throat> this is the basic thing you all must be knowing I am only talking about here one important sign that is Hennebert sign. Hennebert sign is also called false positive fistula test 
so what is it that is there is no fistula but the patient complains of vertigo so it can be seen in Meniere's disease or the congenital syphilis while false negative fistula test is seen in extensive cholesteoma and dead labyrinth that is false negative means there is fistula but on doing the fistula test you are getting the fistula test negative matlab fistula hai but the test you are uh, doing to see whether fistula is present or not is positive that is the test is saying that the fistula is is not there that is the fistula test is negative false negative the test shows it is negative but fistula is actually present so it can be due to a masking of the fistula by the cholesteatoma or the labyrinth is dead that is not working now Gradenigo syndrome is uh, another important syndrome so it is basically the petrocytis that is uh, one of the complication of uh, COM that is when the infection is pressed to the petrous apex of the temporal bone causing petrocytis and thus involving fifth and sixth cranial nerves. So in Mobius syndrome there were sixth and seventh cranial nerve involved and we saw facial palsies, club feed, eyes cannot be moved laterally that is diplopia and in Graden egos there is fifth and sixth so you can remember five six seven but graden egos come before so five six will be involved in graden ego while in mobius which is coming later involves sixth and seventh nerve so in graden ego you will see severe periorbital pain due to fifth nerve that is trigeminal nerve branches of trigeminal nerve fifth nerve you will uh, the patient will observe severe periorbital pain due to sixth nerve lateral rectus palsy LR6 the patient will experience diplopia and there will be persistent otoria due to Graden ego syndrome and that is infection in ear is theirs it is one of the complication of CM so you will see persistent otoria not responding to any treatment or antibiotic so this completes uh, one of the uh, high yielding or high output facts from ENT for regarding your neat PG <clears throat> do watch other videos if you want to see or learn more about the high yielding uh, high output facts from regarding your neat PG and do subscribe and like and thanks for your patient listening all the very best thank you